welcome. So I know some of you have been asking about our curtain that is on our bed that helps uh, block out the light as well as the sound. We absolutely love it. And when we have to get in a rental, we miss our curtain so much. So what do you need to make this curtain? All right. So one of the first things you're going to need is this. Okay. This is a three in one curtain, curtain rod. We got it at Lowe's. It was $50, but this is 50 to 144 inches. So that's the length that you're going to need to make sure that it fits across there. And there are going to be some extra pieces about that. But what comes with it are the brackets to attach it, this rod, and then these clips for the track. So it is on a sliding track. So I do recommend that to make it easier. The other things that you're going to need is this acrylic vinyl. And this vinyl is for temperatures below 30 degrees. So this is what you typically would use if you're reupholstering something in your vehicle. And I'm recommending the 30 degrees. Um, it was around $39 a yard. Um, but because when it gets cold in your truck and you leave it parked over the weekend, you don't want this cracking. Um, you want to make sure it's staying in good shape. So that's why I got this. Um, and then here's your other fabric right here. All right, this is a um, bad, it's called batting, but this is um, a sided crocheted batting. So um, it's waffled print. So this pattern is also going to help block out some of the noise. So, and it also has stuff in the center. So you can see that. Um, I don't worry about it fraying on the edges. I don't really care. It really doesn't make that big of a mess. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to measure from that window to that window. All right, guys. So ours was 93 inches. Different trucks are going to be different measurements, all right? So it comes in a great big roll. Um, we actually had to trim down the length. So we attach it from here and we cut it right at the bottom of the bed, okay? Now, men, I know you're going to be like, well, I can't sew that um, because what we did is we sewed it together. You're going to say, I can't sew that. If you go to Joanne Fabrics to buy this fabric and you tell the ladies that you need it 93 uh, inches long, they're going to cut it and you say, do you have anybody that does sewing on the side? And you can hire someone or you probably know your mama, your grandma, your sister, aunt, somebody that y'all know is going to sew probably. Okay. So get them, pay them a couple dollars to sew it. Um, you can also probably tell them what you need or show them this video and they can probably go get all your supplies and help you build this. Okay. And yes, this stuff can be a um, expensive a little bit, but Joanne's always has 40% off coupons. So take advantage of that. I made Scott go through the line to get one. I went through the line and got the other and it cut the price, you know, 40%. So I recommend using that coupon, but then, so what I did is I sewed it together right here at the top. I left it thinner at the top and you can see it's kind of getting chewed up up here. Let me see. You can't probably really see it. Here we go. So it's getting a little bit chewed up on the edges. Um, and that's because these little teeth are super sharp and, um, they're kind of after time, they're super sharp and it's biting through that fabric. So, like I said, all I did was measure it. It's 93 inches, so it, this is 93 inches long. And I sewed this together. So this is actually layered twice um, back here. There's two layers of this just in the center, though. So when I pull this tight, the second piece is only covering right here, okay, guys? I didn't put extra fabric over on this side because, one, I didn't want to pay for the extra fabric. Two, the cabinets are there, and it's just going to make it more bulky when you try to fold it up. So, oh, now it's hanging up a little bit. So, here we go. So, it just slides right across like that, okay? So, whenever we want to leave it open, we just kind of go like this, and we have a little bungee strap right here. We just put it around like that. Ta-da! It tucks it out of the way. So, then it opens the space right up, okay? So, how did we install this um, without causing major damage to the truck? Cool question. Let me show you what that looks like, okay? All right, so I just took it apart. Okay, so what we did is we made pilot holes in the side of the cabinet. This is just two screws. We made pilot holes so that way it didn't damage the cabinet. And then we would put this bracket on and put the two screws in, okay? And then all you have to do is take this bracket right here. This is what it looks like. And we put it upside down. Normally at your house, you're going to put this down. But in the truck, you're going to want it upside down so that way it doesn't fall out. And then all you do is just snap your rod right in. Ta-da. So you got four screws and um, just figuring out the right size for what you need. All right, guys. So that's the cabinet. Now, let me show you a few more things, okay? All right, guys. So that was how I installed the curtain, okay? So, I mean, it's pretty simple. It's pretty basic. Um, I highly recommend it, especially if you're driving teams. It really helps you have a better night's sleep. And if you want to know more about 
um, that curtain and how it really looks when it's in, in working um, order and how dark it really gets, go check out uh, How to Sleep Better in a Truck. It's one of my other videos. Um, it'll be linked right to this video, so check that out. But then here's another invention that I did, um, and it has helped. It is this. Okay, this looks crazy, okay? Y'all know from the other video that I have a memory foam mattress. It's a 13-inch memory foam mattress, all right? But I found over time that you're rocking back and forth, all the potholes. So your body is just going like this, you know? And that gets uncomfortable, all right? So I made this what I call a bean bag pillow topper. See this? So once again, I got a big piece of fabric, sewed it together, and at Joanne Fabrics, you can buy the bean bag polyfill, okay? So this is the essentials of how it works, okay? It's on the bed, and what's gonna happen is your body is going to eventually sink in. So as the road's moving, you're going over the potholes, the bed is shifting, okay? So your body then is being supported by the bean bags because the little BBs shift and move with your body. Unlike just a flat mattress, you're tipping and rocking. So, I mean, your body's literally going like this, or if you're laying on your back, your body's coming up off the bed. This helps absorb even more of the shock. Um, and it was really simple. Like I said, just a square piece of, a big piece of fabric, sewed it into a, a, a pillow, and I put three bags worth of bean bag filling in there um, and you can get all the supplies once again at Joann's you can use your coupons I highly recommend it and then I just put the sheets and the blankets over top of this I made it the size of our bed if you want measurements for that check out one you can measure your bed that's the easiest way and depending on your truck is gonna be the different sizes of your bed uh, they're standardly a um, Twin XL is a standard mattress that's going to go in a tractor trailer. So that should help. You can check out those measurements. And again, you can hire somebody to sew it, but that super helps us. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. Between this and the curtain and the sleep machine and all those other little things I've told you all about makes a huge difference, guys. A huge difference in, in our sleep. Okay, so I do want to try to make a video for y'all um what it looks like when we're sleeping how much we move around and bounce around this definitely helps pick up the shock um yeah maybe i can do like a time lapse video i don't know i'll see what that's like possibility but this is just another idea um hopefully it helps y'all have a better night's sleep but yep that's our curtain here's our beanbag mattress topper but until next time guys i hope you have a better night's sleep and stay safe be safe and enjoy the adventures see ya Give me my dreams.